welcome to staff works explained if you are here for the first time please consider subscribing to this channel uh, you can hit the notification bell so that when you upload a new video you are notified in today's video we'll be talking about project oil kenya we'll be looking at a proposal that was made by talo oil ceo for a joint pipeline with south sudan we look at the potential benefits and challenges of this partnership the financial constraints that Kenya and South Sudan are facing and the possible exploration of a, a model which includes or involves butter trade. Uh, this is similar to what Ethiopia has done with South Sudan, uh, especially in construction of a ro road that is linking Ethiopia, uh, southwestern part, with South Sudan. We we'll look at the past setbacks uh, involving construction of a crude oil pipeline where Uganda was to join hands with uh, Kenya to build a joint pipeline but this uh, did not succeed and we'll also talk about the need for expediting uh, such a proposal if all the parties agree let's sail uh, through this together Kenya's ambition to become an oil exploiting nation may be closer to reality following a renewed, uh, renewed proposal by Talo Oil uh, Kenya the company which discovered oil in Kenya through Kana region in 2012, has suggested a strategic partnership with the South Sudan to build a joint crude oil pipeline. Talo Oil CEO Rahul Dahil, in an interview with Bloomberg uh, in, on November 8, 2024, outlined the potential for connecting Kenya oil fields with, uh, in Lokicha to South Sudan oil infrastructure. And these was to form a joint pipeline that would transport oil from Kenya and South Sudan to the Kenyan coast, uh, particularly in Lamu port. The CEO emphasized that the combined output of 120 barrels per day from Kenya and 250,000 barrels per day from South Sudan would provide enough volume to justify the construction of a very nice pipeline as he called it this partnership offers a solution to both countries which are facing challenges as far as, far as their oil is concerned south sudan needs a new outlet for its crude oil while kenya requires both capital and a partner to build its long delayed pipeline to the port of mombasa South Sudan oil pipeline, which is crucial for its economy, ceased operation uh, earlier in 2024 due to conflict and technical issues. With South Sudan now looking to restart its pipeline operations, a partnership with Kenya would revitalize the regional oil sector. For Kenya, this collaboration would present a significant step toward commercial oil production, which has been delayed due to lack of strategic partners and slow approval of the Talo oil field development plan by the Kenyan government. In July 2024, Kenya rejected the FDP that had been presented by Talo Oil on the basis that it was not adequate. Talo Oil's FDP, which was submitted in 2021, outlined the company's approach to developing Kenya's oil field, which forecast at 120,000 barrels of oil per day, and uh, the project which or the projects which are supposed to actualize this export uh, were in tune of 3.4 billion dollars this is equivalent to 442.44 billion uh, using the current exchange rate talo initially aimed to export oil by 2028 but the project was set back when the two key partners withdraw uh, the success of the plan now hinges on the Talo securing a new strategic partner, getting financing, and also getting the necessary land and water rights for the pipeline construction. Kenya previously made its first oil export in 2019 under the Early Oil uh, Pilot Scheme, which is EOPS, where it shipped 240,000 barrels of crude oil and out of this it earned 1.48 billion Kenya shillings. However, the country has yet to establish itself as a consistent oil exporter. This proposed collaboration with South Sudan could unlock Kenya potentials 
to exploit oil, marking a pivotal moment for the region's oil sector. While the proposed partnership between Kenya and South Sudan to develop the joint crude oil pipeline has presented some opportunity to unlock Kenya long delayed oil export potential, significant challenges remain. The collaboration could mark a pivotal moment for the energy sector in the region, but hurdles such as security risks, financial constraints, and also political instability need to be addressed before the project can succeed. First, the conflict in South Sudan, particularly in the regions where the proposed pipeline would pass, this poses a significant risk to project viability. South Sudan has a history of political instability and conflict, which uh, could lead to the security uh, threat of the pipeline and also delay the construction process. Any renewed violence could disrupt oil transportation, making the project vulnerable to shutdowns, as well as was seen in uh, early in 2024 when South Sudan pipeline ceased operations. Additionally, securing land and water rights for the project in Kenya has been a stumbling block for Talo oil in the past. Secondly, the financial aspect of building such a large infrastructure project is a major hurdle. Kenya debt levels have escalated significantly in the recent years, making it difficult for the country to finance expensive infrastructure projects like this one. South Sudan is also staggering with an economic crisis largely dependent on oil revenue. And this limits the country's ability to contribute financially to this kind of a project. The estimated cost of building the pipeline could run into billions of dollars, and securing external financing has so far proven difficult uh, for Talo Oil. One potential solution to these financial challenges could be adopting a butter trade model. This is similar to what Ethiopia has entered with the South Sudan. Ethiopia is financing a key highway linking South Sudan and southwestern Ethiopia using a modern day butter trade system, where South Sudan will repay the loan for the road project with crude oil. In this model, Ethiopia covers cost of this $738 million and receives crude oil as a repayment after a five-year grace period. Kenya could explore a similar approach using South Sudan crude oil to finance the construction of the pipeline. This model would allow both countries to overcome the challenges that they are facing, especially financial, and bring the pipeline project into fruition without relying solely on the traditional financing methods. The proposed partnership between Kenya and South Sudan for joint crude oil pipeline bears strong similarity to another agreement between Kenya and Uganda. Initially, Uganda had planned to export its oil via pipeline through Kenya Lamu port. However, Uganda eventually opted for a route through Tanzania, resulting in to the construction of uh, East African crude oil pipeline. This pipeline, which spans a distance of one 1,443 kilometers is currently under construction and is set to allow Uganda to export its oil through Uganda, uh, Tanzania port of Tanga. Uganda's shift to the Tanzania route was a major setback for Kenya, which lost the regional oil partner. Given this history, Kenya must act quickly if the new partnership with South Sudan is to succeed. If the proposal is accepted, it should be expedited to avoid further delays in developing Kenya oil sector. Losing st another strategic partner, as happened with Uganda, would, on would not only delay the commercialization of the Kenya oil reserves, but could also severely hinder country's potential uh, to establish itself as a key player in the regional oil market. Speeding up the processes is essential, especially considering the pressing need for infrastructure investment and oil production in Kenya. Securing South Sudan as a partner could help bring much needed momentum for the project. But Kenya needs to avoid the pitfall that led to Uganda's departure. Expediting negotiations, securing financing, as well as ensuring that political and security concerns are addressed uh, quickly will be key to ensuring that this project does not face similar fate. In conclusion, we can say that the proposed partnership between Kenya and South Sudan for a joint crude oil pipeline could be a turning point for Kenya's long-delayed ambition to become an oil exporting nation. With Talo Oil, oil uh, a renewed proposal to collaborate with South Sudan, both countries are going to benefit. Kenya will gain a critical partner to help 
in commercialization of its oil reserves and south sudan will gain a uh, will gain out of securing a new outlet for its crude oil now that the sudan route is is, is has got into some problem due to conflict that is there however for this partnership to succeed kenya must act swiftly and avoid pitfalls that caused uganda to switch routes in favor of tanzania east african crude oil pipeline key challenges such as uh, regional security threats financial constraints as well as political instability this need to be addressed to ensure that the project remains viable moreover innovative financial uh, financing models like uh, what we have in ethiopia the modern day butter trade arrangement with south sudan this can provide a blueprint for overcoming the financial challenges as well as enabling both countries to realize the pipeline's potential without heavily relying on the traditional financing mo methods the success of this venture depends on uh, ex its ex expedition kenya needs to expedite the negotiations as well as secure the necessary approvals as well as financing with the right approach kenya can avoid further delay and finally establish itself as a significant player in the global oil market and uh, it can turn its oil reserves into substantial economic asset however failure to seize this opportunity could leave kenya once again searching for partners further delaying its entry into the oil export market so kenya needs to act quickly if this proposal is bought by all parties so thank you for reaching this far if it's your first time here please consider subscribing to this channel uh, you can also hit the notification bell so that when we upload a new video you are notified leave a comment and let us think uh, let us uh, hear what you have uh, about this proposal to have a joint project between Kenya and South Sudan to uh, improve or to make it reality as far as oil export is concerned thank you